Well, hello there. My name's Vinny Voodoo. I've had a terrible cold. The bloody lurgy. It wasn't the crowning virus, but it was bloody nasty. And I tried to record a video a couple of times and then gave up. I had my nurse. There she is. Her uh, name is Dee Dee Mega Doo Doo. And she gave me a... Uh, plate of soup every a plate of soup, plate not a bowl as I've written here I've written a bowl down <laughs> a plate of soup a thin plate of soup she gave me and and she called that serum serum I want my serum it's in the lab if you could get it get my serum a terrible impression okay um this is the third and final and ultimate bollocky eyed bastard video with regards to the texture pack, but I have found out a lot of interesting things. Uh, I was originally going to do a top 10 of interesting things that I found, but I'm going to do it really quickly so I don't have to waste your time or mine. Before I do, though, um, I have a extra uh, promotional thing at the end of this. Here's a clue. Now, if you recognize what that is and you're over 40, you'll remember what it is and you're over 40. I'm not quite sure where I'm going with that. But let's move on to the texture pack and what it did and why it did it and why blah, 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 blah. Right, the uh, November the 9th patch, which was uh, patch 128, removed certain um, textures and replaced them with crappier versions of them. The difference between the two are very slight. Uh, one was lossless and one was lossy. I get this information, by the way, from uh, Paul Hale, who's the production development manager at uh, Activision, and uh, his Twitter account has all of this information there. Why I didn't look there before? Probably because his Twitter account is like at T R A E L or blah 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 blah. And it's like, put Paul Hale there, Activision, you perk. Right. Um, so the first thing is, is yes, the the high res textures were removed for consoles and PC on November the 9th. Um, when um, that happened, it had no detrimental effect to the game itself. So you're gonna go, well, what the hell did they remove? Well, they removed operators and guns, high res textures. What a lot of people said in my more popular video than this one will be, is indeed the uh, operators and guns were reduced by texture quality. The 25 gig texture pack puts them back now, in my opinion, if you're looking at lossless versus lossy, it's virtually unnoticeable. It really is. So there's probably 20 gig of texture and they replaced it with 25 gig, meaning a deficit of five gig. Uh, so we'll, we'll come to that at the end of this vid. Um, now, in Cold War, if you go to your operators right now, You'll notice a few of them if you've not bought Modern Warfare, which I haven't. Let's say this fella here, it says on the right to unlock operator, purchase Modern Warfare. I have no problem with that at all. I haven't bought it, but I guarantee you that that texture pack included some of these guys, at least as high risk textures. But uh, you might have noticed about a week ago, these guys appearing here under Black Ops to unlock operator, purchase Cold War. Boom. So that's what, Call of Duty 17, uh, Black Ops 5, Cold War 1, Modern Warfare 5, Warzone 1. <laughs> and if you buy all that, you'll get that bastard there. And I assume he has more than one uh, skin, and it's all embedded. Now, I have people who have not uh, downloaded the texture pack, and they, these guys are here. So it was part of the 33 gig patch, as was other things, and we'll get there. Uh, uh, but there was probably text pack on top of that, hence it was 25 gig. Now, people said that to check uh, if you've got it installed, you go to general and go down the bottom, and just before you get to credits, you'll see um, a game installs there. In fact, it actually says that on the official Twitter account. What they don't take into account is if you have the free version, there's no game installs here. Look, there isn't, I promise you. Because I haven't bought Modern Warfare, I've only downloaded Warzone. Don't know why I'm saying it like that. So, uh, if you can't see, it's not a bug in the game. It's just, if you didn't buy the full version of Modern Warfare, you can't uninstall or in, uh, install the things that you like or dislike to reduce the file size. I assume that 
you know, some point they decided to add that to Warzone. Um, so if you want to see if you've got the texture pack installed, please look at my previous video, which I will show a small clip of now. And then um, uh, have a look at the description. Uh, you, you go through the actual dashboard. You don't actually go through the menu unless you have bought the game in full. Um, the uh, the other thing is, is and this, this is something that's been confirmed. If you never buy Black Ops or you never buy Modern Warfare, it doesn't matter. It won't affect the way Warzone is going other than cosmetically. You won't get, say, for example, these operators. I don't know which ones. There'll probably be two or three free, but you won't get them all. But they're just cosmetic. So it, 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 the guns and everything will be available just like they are in the Battle Pass, which, by the way, they did extend, as you can see at the top there on the left. Uh, at the top on the left, in the middle, at the bottom, uh, it says Battle Pass complete. Pass resets in nine days. They extended it by about 13 or 14 days recently. Um, there's no Season 7, so, you know, the Season 6 is the last one. Uh, that can't be good for, for money for them. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with this combination Cold War, uh, Modern Warfare, Warzone, mashup, pile of bollocks. Um, it, apparently, I'll have a prestige system. The final thing I want to say uh, uh, is the um, well, the final thing about this is the game came with bugs with this. Now, I want you to make a note of my operator here. Um, I've, I've currently given the gold HDR, and as you can see, it's it's got the gold on the cover. This fella here, right there, right? Yep, yeah, turn around, come on. Good. Now, if I change that weapon to a loadout where it's my secondary, which you do with overkill, that one there, and uh, I'll make that a favorite. Back out. Now you'll notice here, it's the same gold gun. It has a black stock with a gold trim on it and the gold body. Right, look what it looks like on my back. Yes. Give me a minute. There we go. Now, look at this. Looks like a topographical. There's no black stock with gold trim. There's no gold body. It's inverted. It's broken. Now, the first time I saw this, I thought maybe it's got something that they're trying to, like, stealth it. I don't know. Hide it. It's, it's perfectly normal and common. Maybe I'll change my operator. And I changed to this fella, and it was the most obvious one to be hidden. The big boy with his ghillie suit on. And uh, now it's still broken. And I've confirmed this in-game with other players. And yeah, it, this is what it looks like. It doesn't look gold. So with either the texture pack or the most recent patch... If I'm running along with my fancy gold gun that took some time to make, it looks like that. And again, I'm going to go back out and I want to show you the favorite, just in case you think, well, it's a topographical and it's not that. Look at the gun at the bottom there. This fella. You can still see the uh, lines on it. But if I do the old animation, you can see it's gold on the outside with a grayish black stock. So... Yeah, definitely a bug there. Now, that's about it. That's about all I know about the, the, the texture pack. Is it worth downloading for 25 gig? Absolutely not. Don't even bother. Um, absolute bollocks. What a waste of time that was for everyone and all concerned. But that's okay. Now, I did mention this. And I'd like to say I was one of the producers uh, of Games Master in the 90s. Uh, I was also an executive producer of Games World. I was technical producer on um, Total Reality. Well, actually, I was on camera on Total Reality. I was technical producer of Reactive for the BBC, BBC and stuff like that. So my next video is going to be about the background of that. I already have written an article for What Culture. And I'm going to expand on that. And all of the stuff that their stupid lawyers took out, I put it back. So please uh, have a look at my next video, which will not be related to this shitty texture pack. Uh, I certainly appreciate everyone, who, uh, appreciate everyone who's watched my vid. 
uh, and en enjoyed it for my nonsense. <laughs> and uh, um, my name is Mini Voodoo, and yours is not. Thus, nature has balanced itself. Join me next time for a video about Games Master and Games Boy. Thanks for watching.